Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where we give you expert advice and insights on real estate. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the steps that it takes to sell your home successfully. Whether you're a first time home seller or you wanna optimize the sale of your home, this is gonna be some great information for you. So let's get started on that video right now. First stage to selling your home is the preparation phase. This involves making your home market ready and appealing for potential buyers. Step one, start by cleaning your home, every room, including bathrooms, kitchens, and windows. Declutter by removing personal items and excessive furniture to create a more spacious and inviting atmosphere. If needed, consider hiring a professional cleaner. I find that it can really take some stress off of you when it comes to trying to get your home sold. Step two, inspect your home and make any repairs or fixes necessary before you list your home. Consider doing strategic repairs and renovations that can make your home more appealing to a potential pool of buyers. I would say if you're gonna do something like this, let's focus on kitchens and bathrooms. Those are the big hitters. Um, one of the things that I would also probably recommend before you make any big renovations, have a conversation with your real estate agent to make sure the return on investment is there. Step three, we're gonna be talking about staging in this step. Arrange your furniture so that it makes the home spacious and inviting and shows off any special features in the home. One of the things that I really recommend when it comes to staging is removing as much as you can. Sometimes when we're trying to live in a home, we have excess, excess furniture. So if that XX furniture makes the room look small, we wanna consider removing some of that furniture. There's always the option to take all of the furniture out of the home, and sometimes this thing can even highlight how large a space is. Opt for neutral colors and remove personalized decorations so that we can appeal to a wider base of buyers. Not everyone likes what you like. Don't forget to enhance your curve appeal by maintaining the exterior of your home, landscaping, and entryways. Pressure washing is always a good idea before you put your home on the market. Once your home is ready, it's time to determine the right price and market it effectively. Let's explore those next steps. Step four, conduct a comparative market analysis or a CMA. Research and understand the prices of homes similar to your home in your area. Consult with a real estate agent and use online tools to look at what homes in your area have sold for that are similar to your home. Consider hiring a real estate agent with expertise in your local market, and I can't recommend this enough. Make sure you hire an expert. Don't hire your cousin or um, a, a friend of a friend. Make sure you look for someone who knows what they're doing in today's market. A real estate agent will provide you with guidance help you with negotiations, and even help you with some of the legal paperwork involved in getting your home sold. Step six, hire a professional photographer to get quality images of the exterior and interior of your home. This is one I can't stress enough. Sometimes I really can't believe that there's some professional real estate agents that will come out to your home and take a picture with their cell phone. We want to make sure that we put your best foot forward because sometimes the first impression is all that you have for potential buyers. I'd also recommend taking a look at potentially getting some video of your home as well so that we can promote it to buyers that may be relocating to the area. Step seven, list your home on popular real estate websites ensuring accurate and appealing descriptions. Use social media channels like YouTube to get your home out to buyers that may be relocating to the area. Also, utilize traditional um, marketing platforms like yard signs and brochures. We wanna make sure to get your home the most exposure possible. As inquiries start to pour in, it's time to show your home and start accepting offers. Here are the steps. Step eight, coordinate showings with buyers, ensuring that your home is well-staged and presentable. 
Try doing things like playing soft music to create a great ambiance and make sure that your home smells refreshing for the next buyer. Step nine, evaluate offers received and work with your real estate agent to negotiate terms like price, um, contingencies, and timelines. Please, please guys, ensure that you are familiar with the laws in your area around disclosure requirements and negotiations. All right, you're almost there. It's time to finalize the deal and focus on the last few steps of selling your home. Here they are. Step 10, cooperate with the buyer's request for inspections and appraisal as a part of the due diligence process. If necessary, make any necessary repairs or give a credit for those repairs. Step 11, now it's time to collect the necessary documents. Collect any paperwork, deeds, title, HOA information needed for closing. Ensure all financial obligations like your mortgage um, or your taxes and insurance are handled either now or at closing. All right, so next, here is the final step. We are going to attend closing. It's gonna be your real estate agent. It's gonna be the buyer's real estate agent, the buyer, the seller, and the attorney all are gonna to come together and we're gonna sign the required documents in order for you to hand over the property to the new homeowner. Now, one of the things that I highly recommend, guys, we're getting the home sold. I know it's been a challenging process throughout um, you know, getting your home sold. We talk about it in steps, but there's a slew of things that can come up, but we wanna make sure to hand over that property in good condition. Um, I, think the goal, I think it's about the golden rule, treat others how you would wanna be treated. So be sure to get the home clean before you move out and hand over the home. All right, guys, so there you have it. Congratulations, you have successfully sold your home. I'm so excited for you. It's time to do what's next for you, whether it's moving to another area, moving to a bigger home, or simply selling your home because it's time to do so. But I hope this video helped. Again, I am Cameron Fleming with the Fleming team, and we are here always to provide you with the best information possible so that you have a successful real estate transaction. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about real estate, give me a call anytime. If you're selling your home in Columbia, South Carolina, if you're selling your home in another state, I can connect you with the expert real estate agent that knows what they're doing. We want you to have a successful real estate transaction. Until next time, guys, peace.